Hey guys, it's Peyton and this might be shocking. I'm doing a bookshelf tour. After like four years, y'all have waited. Something like that. It's been a long time since I've done one of these and obviously my shelves have grown. Y'all literally don't know anything about them other than my mini tours that I've done for Harry Potter and Hunger Games. And you can see what's in my camera, like light of you. But other than that, y'all are clueless. So I'm finally gonna do it today. It's not gonna be the most detailed thing. I'm not gonna take out every single book cause that's just super annoying. And I have so many books at this point that that is never happening. But I'm gonna show you each little shelf and show you the highlights of those shelves. I have five big shelves and one small one. So six in total. And I recently just got a reading cart because my boyfriend bought it for me. Super excited about that too. We should just go ahead and get started because who knows how long this video is about to be. It's gonna be traumatic to edit. This is why I have avoided this video for so long, but here we are and you're welcome, okay? Please give this video some love because it takes a lot of effort. See? <laughs> so this is the very, very, very top of my first shelf and I pretty much just have leftover Cassandra Clare books up here because I, I'm running out of space even with all the shelves that I have. I have a freaking a stock image for my graduation photo. I need to fix that. Don't judge it. Then I just pretty much it's just Cassandra Clare. Like who cares? What else am I gonna say? I love their infernal devices. I have my high school diploma which I have the name of my school cropped out because I don't want stalkers but whatever. That's great and I have a squirrel. It's called Pretty the Squirrel. So if we go down one, you see my actual Cassandra Clare shelf. This is just all of the books. They're kind of out of order currently because I reread the Infernal Devices and I took some out and just don't judge the order, but it's fine. And then we have freaking SpongeBob, Patrick, and what's in McCollum, Mr. Mm -hmm. Krabs. Isn't that great? I freaking love that. And then I have my Shadow Hunters Steely or Stelle or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's really great. Oh, and then I have a sampler to the Red Scrolls of Magic that I got from a book signing because I met Cassandra Clare. I have a vlog for that if you want to go watch it. And I have the gray book, which came with the little Stella thing. What about the ring? The ring, oh, this happens to be Jace Whalen's ring from City of Bones. And I was really obsessed with it to the point where I needed to get one. So there, there we go. It's the Morgan Stern ring or whatever. Great. So another shelf lower, we have my Rick Riordan section. Primarily, I have a few books by like Alexa Dunn and Ashley Poston. But yeah, pretty much Rick Riordan, my box set and another box set. I miss these books so much. Also, we have Woody and Bo Peep. We love them together. <laughs> We're just warning you now. These are the first two of about 300 pops. <laughs> I do have a lot of pops that y'all are gonna witness and a few unicorns throughout, so. Hey! <laughs> so here's my shelf primarily of contemporary books and stuff like that. I got these two pops recently. It's Laura Jean and Peter from the To All The Boys I Love Before trilogy. Absolutely adorable, like, oh my God. I can't, and then, oh, 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 no, no, don't do that. Okay, no, no. Then we have my selection series, which was a big part of my life. It was an obsession. I need to reread those actually and do like a whole thing and see if I still like it. We have a unicorn, we have another unicorn, and then another unicorn. Not much else to say other than books that I like. So here is a random collection of books. The standouts are the Vampire Academy series that I recently reread and loved and a few books from the Bloodlines series and just random books that all were the same size because why not put them together? Then we have Violet from The Incredibles because we love her <laughs> and Patrick, we love that. And then if you haven't noticed, I got all four, or no, five boys from One Direction. Eventually Zayn left and then we had four, so great. Then I have a dog. I stole this from my grandpa's house because I like dogs. Then I have a fart alert bell. So if you fart, I am going to alert the public. And random wooden pins or pencils. I thought this, <laughs> I thought this was cool. This is the reason this doesn't all fit together. One of my friends wanted one of these. So I gave them one and now it has never been the same. So really sad. Then I have a Star Wars coin 
for some reason. So here's the bottom shelf of my first bookshelf. And we have What's His Face, the dinosaur from Toy Story, forgot his name. And pretty much we have the entire in a series of unfortunate events. Rex, whatever. We have the entire series of Unfortunate Events series. I got... Why is Siri talking to us? I didn't ask for her opinion. Oh my god. I got up to the carnivorous carnival and I never finished to read the last four books and it bothers me because I really want to know how it ends in the book The End. Like, I want to know! Then we have the Miss Peregrine's books and I put them down here because I didn't really like them very much, so... Sorry. And just a bunch of books that I haven't really read yet. I did read The Hobbit and I got this really pretty edition of it. So I had to buy it when I saw it. What other booktuber can say their boyfriend will hold a ring light up for him? Oh, <laughs> shut up. So this is the top shelf of my next shelf. It is the beginnings of my Harry Potter section. I do have a whole video about my Harry Potter section. So go watch it. I did change it a little bit but I'm not gonna go in as in-depth as I did with that one. But just a bunch of Harry Potter shit. You can look at it, you can see it. It's here. Go watch my video. I did have an update. I got like the advent calendar and there's this one that cannot stand up. So that's why there's a gap. And I will show you more of those, but it's super cute because I got all these little mini pops of the Harry Potter characters at the Yule Ball. If you go down a level, here's another part of my Harry Potter section. Once again, go watch my video. I put a card for it so you can go click it. But obviously I have a shit ton of pops. I have Ron on a broomstick. I have Hermione for the Yule Ball. Ron in the Yule Ball, which I am very happy I found that because it's rare and I'm happy. <laughs> Cedric Diggory for the Yule Ball. What's his face? Um, Filch for the Yule with his little cat. Adorable. Tom Riddle and the Tom Riddle Diary with Voldemort. I love this section. I, uh, yes, Chamber of Secrets. Least favorite book, but still, this is cool. <laughs> so another shelf down, we have a giant Angie Thomas section. I have three hate you gives and two on the come ups. It's a story. Don't really feel like going into it, but my dog ate one of my first edition hate you gives and then I needed another of the white editions. Then I won a collector's edition. Then I bought on the come up and then I found out that the Barnes Noble exclusive edition is signed copies. So then I had to order that. So pretty much I have a giant collection and it's probably going to continue growing as she continues writing books. But we have freaking Black Panther T'Challa because there's a lot of references to Black Panther and on the come up, so I had to put them here. Like, it's great. And then we have Captain America in his Avengers Endgame suit. Then we have Black Widow in her Avengers Endgame suit. I really like her, so <laughs> I like the, the hairdo. This is just a lot of contemporary books, really. I have a P for my name, Peyton. Then this little whale. I think my boyfriend bought me this. I did. Yeah. <laughs> and then I have this thing that was a keychain. It says reading is magical and a unicorn on it really love that but it broke so now it's on my shelf forever just a bunch of contemporary books mainly and then a few graphic novels toward the end here so the next shelf down is my sarah j mass section primarily i have like the throne of glass series right here and then the court of thorns and roses series i have an extra aquamath because it was like five bucks on amazon and i want to annotate it because i have a signed copy so then we have thor with uh is it Stormbreaker or something? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Stormbreaker. He looks really good. Then we have Thor with his pizza and his big old tummy. And we love that. The scars are different on each of them. Yeah. I That bothers me that the scars are different. Like, can y'all get it together? Also, I have this Stone of Glass thing with the stag, I believe. Like, I don't... It's been a while. Okay. And I think it's really cool. I got this button from something I did. Then we have Spider-Man floating. I think this is like the video game Spider-Man from the PlayStation. Mm -hmm. Then we have Shrek. I recently found Shrek. I'm so excited that I have Shrek. And my boyfriend made sure to put him beside the Hulk because they're both green. They need to be together. So this is actually one of my most favorite pops in the world because it's just so cool. If you saw Avengers Endgame, you know the gauntlet in the Hulk. It's so cool. And pretty much, I have a few books. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, and then Girls of Paper and Fire, and Girls of Storm and Shadow. But primarily, this is Sarah Sweet. J. Mass. Over here is Runes from the Cassandra Clare books. They're actually tattoos, and I taped them here a while ago. This used to be my Cassandra Clare section, and I haven't felt like moving it, so it's gonna stay there. 
forever. The next shelf down has a bunch of books that are all the same size because it looks nice together and most of them I haven't read. This is the Darkest Minds trilogy. Didn't really like it. Never read the third book because I wasn't liking it but I have them all signed and I've met the author twice and I feel bad. Then we have my Divergent series and I also met her. I have a little ornament of the main character from that series and I've met her. I got all of these signed but I'm not even that big of a fan of them anymore but hey it's cool. We have Mr. Incredible. I have a little snow globe thing where you can put a thing around a cow's head so cool. It's my grandpa's so now I have it. And then we have Eleven from Stranger Things with the waffles because we all know her favorite food is Eggos. She loves Eggos. Then we have a little egg Oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> she loves Eggos and then I put her beside an egg that says my name on it, Peyton. Cool. That was crazy. <laughs> so this is the very final shelf on my second bookshelf. This is primarily just a bunch of books. I've either already read them and they're just not like favorites of all time and I just wanted to put them here or I haven't read them yet. And I have this really beautiful edition of The Snow Queen and Other Winter Tales. I got this for $5 and I'm very proud of that. <laughs> And I think it's cute that I have my first ever Funko Pop, which is what's in, oh my god, Snow Miser from those Santa Claus movies. Forgot what they're called, but Snow Miser. I wish I had a Heat Miser to go with it, but I literally probably had a crush on him when I was younger. He is my first Funko Pop, and now I have a lot, and you're gonna see how much I got <laughs> as we continue to go on. I also have my John Green section down here. I've only read three of his books i need to read yeah what's the what's the one right oh my there? god brett got me turtles all the way down i still haven't read it and he's really freaking pissy about it so i will read it eventually brett also everything is super dusty don't judge me i am just not the cleanest person in the entire world i'm just being honest <laughs> now we're on to my third shelf here's the very top of it and this is the beginnings of the other half of my harry potter section go watch my video for more in depth of this area big standout we have dumbledore in front of the hogwarts editions of the books that i recently got we have the rest of the mini pops that I got in the advent calendar, which are really cool. We have Hermione with the cauldron. I recently got that. And then we have the Marauders map, which I think is cool. Brett, my boyfriend, decorated this if you want to know. Then we have a little advanced potion making textbook. And if you can't tell, there's also Ron, Hermione's, and Harry's wands. This is just such a cute setup. So thank you, Brett. I love it. So if we go one lower, here's the final shelf of my Harry Potter shelf. We have a bunch of my paperback Harry Potters. I recently got the first four Harry Potter books in the UK editions, which is really hard to find in the United States because they don't print those anymore and people just want to make it expensive. So it's annoying. Then we have, I think these are the 20th anniversary editions of Harry Potter. Not positive. I might be stupid. You know what those look like. Like go look it up if you don't know. And I normally have all my movies here, but my dad was trying to watch them. So all I have right now is Fantastic Beasts up here. And obviously I have a bunch of pops. I finally got all three of them with the sorting hats. Harry was a little bit harder to find, but I finally found him and it was a super lucky moment. And I have a music box with the Harry Potter sound. Don't want to get copyrighted, but you get the point. And then Hagrid recently found the Patronus of Harry and love it so much. And also the Elder Wand. This section is just so adorable. And I also have a butterbeer cup that I got from Universal and I store a bunch of my tabs for my books in it. The next shelf down, we pretty much have my Tahara Moffy section as well as my Victoria Swab section. Dwag! Shut up. And we also have three pops. We have Iron Man from Avengers Endgame. We have Black Panther in his Black Panther suit. And we have Spider-Man in his Spider-Man Homecoming little outfit. Macy, shut up. Something that super bothers me is my Furthermore and Witchwood copies of the paperbacks do not match. I ordered Witchwood off a of freaking book outlet. Didn't realize that there was different editions and that it would be taller. <laughs> super pissed, so... Yeah, we're trying to pretend that that's not a problem. Also have Lilo and Stitch. I forgot what this little thing Scrump. is named. Scrump. This is Lilo's little doll and I think it's adorable. I told Brett I loved it and then he found one for me. So super cute. But yes, pretty much Tahara Mafi and Victoria Swap. 
Next up down, we obviously have my Hunger Games section. I have a whole video on this. I will admit I made it four months ago and it has grown since very much. And maybe I'll do an updated video on that. But if you want a very in-depth look at this, go watch that video. But I will talk about some of my developments, which is how I got all of the Funko Pops in the collection of the Hunger Games, finally. So I have Katniss in her wedding dress, Katniss in her bow and arrow Hunger Games outfit from the first movie, PETA from the first movie in the Hunger Games, Katniss in her fire dress, Katniss in the Mockingjay dress, and President Snow in his catching fire outfit and then Effie Trinket from the first movie at The Reaping. And then I also got a Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes postcard thing from Y'all Fest, and I love it. And I also have the movies and everything. And I have a Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes cookie with the cover on it. It's a big win for me, I think it's cool. But obviously I have a million editions of these books and this one's missing because I'm currently about to do a reread of the books because of my Hunger Games read along. Oh my God, join in on our read along as well as go watch my video where I explain more in depth about all this shit. Another shelf down, we have more books. Some of my favorites on this shelf is my Lunar Chronicles section. And then I also have some recent books that I got from Book of the Month. This one is in my book bag. I haven't even started it yet though. <laughs> Just a bunch of stacked books that I've had forever and still haven't really read. So oops to that. Hopefully I will eventually. And obviously I have some pop situations going on. I have a bunch of Stranger Things pops. We have Steve and the Demo Dog from season two, I believe. Then we have Eleven from season three in one of my favorite outfits that she wore. Then we have Steve in his ice cream uh, boy outfit. And then we have Robin, which I'm so happy to have Robin because we didn't even know if we were gonna get her at first, but then they came out with one. And then a recent find I have is this Comic-Con exclusive of Steve with the butterscotch sundae thing and I love it so much. I love his messed up hair. I found it for a really good deal. <laughs> so it's great. And I have a bunny that my sister gave me a while ago. Here is the final shelf on my third bookshelf. Right here I have a whole section of writing books because if you didn't know, I am a writer. I just am terrible and haven't written in a while, but I'm trying to get back into it. I've read a few of these. I also have my Twilight series collection, Very Dusty. I only read up to Eclipse and read half through that because honestly, I'm a movie fan. Like I, I just, these movies are so cheesy and wonderful and I just love them so much. Then I have my Scott Westerveld section as well as my Gail Foreman. And then we have Belle. We love her. She's freaking gorgeous. I love this. It's so sparkly. Here is the top shelf of my fourth bookshelf. It's kind of chaotic up here. I have a little Lego set for Harry Potter with the Patronus. I have a squishy unicorn cake thing. I have Barbie, my friend gave it to me for some reason, but I love it to death. Then I have my bookmark holder with a cup that I got from one of the Hunger Games movie premiere things. I have a bunch of Hamilton items. So I have the biography and then the little big bind up of all the pictures and stuff and then a journal with Hamilton on it and I have a picture from prom and a light bulb thing because why not? Next shelf down we have a bunch of taller hardbacks. So like Red Queen and Strange the Dreamer, Never Night, Illuminae, all of those books. I have an ornament that a family friend gave me that says read on it. I love that so much. I have a little army soldier because my boyfriend's in the army, so cute. Then we have Rey from Star Wars with a lightsaber. I thought this was super cool. Love her hair. And I have this New York City heart thing that my boyfriend gave me when he went to New York City without me. So, great. Wow, thanks. <laughs> Next shelf down, we have another section for tall hardbacks. Most of them I haven't read because that's a running theme for my life because I buy too many books and then don't read them. But we have the Fifth Wave Trilogy. Never read the third book because I'm scared and everybody acts like it was so bad. I do like these, but I never read the second one. So yeah, I'm just pretty terrible. But red, white, and royal blue, I got the hardback and I'm really hyped about that because it only came out in paperback, but then Book of the Month released it. And then I have a collection of pops here that I really like. Most of these are Walking Dead. These four are Walking Dead pops. My friend Brittany bought me this for my birthday one year. It is Megan from The Walking Dead. He's like my favorite villain from the show and the comic books because I am 
a nerd. And then I have one of my favorite characters, Daryl. This is like a prison outfit that he had because Negan freaking put him in a cell. So then we have my favorite, one of my favorite characters of all time. If you want a comparison, it's like Finnick and Peta level. We have Rick Grimes. We love Rick Grimes to the ends of the earth. And this is like one of my favorite segments of time for him. This is one of my favorite outfits and his gun and everything. So I'm very happy I got this pop. And then we have another Daryl Dixon with his crossbow and everything. And why is he so much tanner? Their romance is beautiful. And then in the center, obviously, we have Captain America. This is when in Avengers Endgame, he was able to pick up Mjolnir and then the broken shield. You should put in the title, I review my pops with a bookshelf. <laughs> Next shelf down, we have some taller hardbacks. These are a lot of books that I've actually have read, believe it or not. We have Children of Blood and Bone. Actually still haven't read the sequel, <laughs> but it just came out in December. Then we have my huge Cruel Prince section. I have the white editions and the black editions, which I'm super psyched about. And then I have avocados that are in love. Brett gave it to me because I love guacamole and avocados. It's great. We have Mrs. Incredible and then my Amanda Foodie books, Sorcerer of Thorns, and all of my Alice Oseman books with Heartstopper. I really need to get Heartstopper Volume 3. Then we have Fred and Daphne from Scooby-Doo. Scooby, 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 Scooby. And then we have Ariel. Next up down, we just have a bunch more books. Obviously, in my bookshelf tour, we have my Becky Albertalli section and my Adam Silvera section. Go watch my Infinity Sun rant review. <laughs> Go look at it. And then we have a few Stephen King books here at the bottom, but mostly these are just the same height paperbacks that I have and then the same height hardbacks. Really need to read Serpent and Dove. Also, I have this little dolphin that my boyfriend gave me and this little pirate treasure map thing by my daughter of the pirate king book we have a smurf and then a collection of seashells and a little paper that is from book of the month that's just right here for some reason and i have character cards from serpent and dove haven't read the book yet though so need to get to that and then my love simon movie so the final shelf of this bookshelf is a whole bunch of books that i didn't have another place to put Here's some of my textbooks for this semester. We have a bunch of mass market paperbacks of Stephen King books that I put behind here. Then we have my Game of Thrones books. One of them is in another area because I'm still reading it for forever. And I have this Stephen King uncollected, unpublished thing. It's like people talking about Stephen King that my friend gave me. A sweet, filthy boy. Don't talk about that one. <laughs> <laughs> now we're on to my fifth shelf, the top. And pretty much I have a photo album, a bunch of pictures that my mother put together. My mom and my aunt made a photo album of my life for my graduation party after I graduated high school. And here's three pictures of me and my best friend Reagan and my boyfriend Brett at the top there. And this is Brett with America flag because he's going into the army at this point. So had to be a basic bitch apparently. <laughs> and then happy. So here's another shelf down on my bookshelf. I have a bunch of Sarah Dessen books as well as Morgan Matson books, like the whole freaking collection. I have a little figurine from The Walking Dead. I think this was Bob of all names to have. His name is Bob. And then... <laughs> I have my first visit Disney button and my happy birthday Disney button because my last birthday we went to Disney World and it was my first time ever. And then I have a little army man on here because my boyfriend's in the army. We have a hanging venomized Spider-Man. We just have more contemporary books so we have Dumplin' and Puddin'. I love those. I mean not really. They're okay. My next shelf here we have a bunch of Neil Schusterman books as well as my Chris Colfer The Land of Story series. And we have some Y'all Fest 2019 pins as well as another Walking Dead figurine. This is Morgan if you watch the show. Then we just have some more random books that I have here. Some sci-fi books, Viking book, <laughs> Rumble Stiltskin book, and just more contemporaries and more Neil Schusterman. Then we have a Rick Grimes Funko. No, this is not a Funko. This is a bobblehead. And I love Rick Grimes so much. He's from The Walking Dead. And you'll find out even more because I have another. I have a Funko Pop of him from season one in his sheriff 
outfit and he he's like the love of my life one of them one of my fictional loves in my life my boyfriend's behind the camera i'm sorry then we have another shelf down we have aquaman by the wonder woman book because dc why not put them there we have my truth witch books we have the caravel books i still need to get the third one but the main thing that we have here is the levar dugo section with the grisha books so six of crows and Crooked kingdom and her trilogy i have this little beauty and the beast cup that i got from disney on ice just a bunch of bookmarks and i do have some pencils that say peyton reads on it that brett's mother gave me a while ago and i have my again but better arc as well as my final copy of again but better and also one of my favorite books red white and royal blue in the paperback edition and this book by hank green still need to read that heard it's great and i have this this stuffed animal i've had it forever and it's so cute here is the next shelf down it has just a bunch of collections of books but mostly the theme i have going on here is classic books or just high esteemed books that i have i also have a little booktube pen that I got at Y'all Fest and here's some of my most recent purchases that I did get at Y'all Fest as well and I'm super excited to read these. I have a Toy Story Alien, I think that's super cool and some more Smurfs that I got in Happy Meals. So here's the final shelf on my fifth bookshelf. Most of it is just a bunch of books I've already read and I just decided to put down here and then there's a few books that I just haven't gotten to yet but are kind of on the lower end of it and just books I didn't have any other place for them so they kind of came down here I have some baby books that my mother gave me when I graduated don't really know why like is she expecting me to do something <laughs> I don't know like I don't know she thought it was cute I haven't even read them yet so I'm sorry then we have ham or hammy from Toy Story and then we have Dr. Doofenshmirtz. So here's the top shelf of my sixth shelf, my little baby bookshelf that I have. And most of the top has all of my Walking Dead comics. I have like the entire collection. I have three compendiums of it. And then I started collecting all the individual comic books that came afterwards. And then I have a little magazine. This is the back of the magazine actually. It's all about The Walking Dead. I'm a huge Walking Dead person haven't watched the most recent season to be honest because something happened that really messed me up and I haven't been able to continue on but we have Rick Grimes and his son Carl and a quote by him that is one of my favorites so I had to put it here this is a little dog that my boyfriend grew up and loved and then I have Dory I have my hat my cap from graduation so I just hung it here I have like 33 ones just stacked right here because cool little just a bunch of crap right here <laughs> and then I have an army picture of my boyfriend and then a picture of us when we were at our first prom together and then I have a little rubber ducky so here's the second shelf of my baby bookshelf this is like my Marie Lou section is right here then I have a few Jen Bennett books I wish you all the best by Mason Deaver Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, just a bunch of random books. And then I have Game of Thrones because I have been currently reading it for a while. And I have two I Wish You All the Best pins, which is cool because I went to a book signing for that. And I also have this little pamphlet from when I went and saw Hamilton recently in Virginia. Next shelf down, I have a collection of a bunch of short hardbacks. And then I have another Jen Bennett book, Alex Approximately, super good. And another one of her books that I have here. I have the Charlotte Holmes series that I didn't like that much, but they're right here. And The Martian and everything. I have, this is like Miles Morales, Happy Meal toy. Here is the final shelf of this book tour. And there's an empty Kleenex box, so that's not supposed to be here. And these are actually books from my latest unhaul. I got to sell a bunch of them, but they, my used bookstore didn't take these. And then a bunch of books right here are arcs that I have gotten over the years from Y'all Fest and things like that. I haven't really read most of these, but I hope to. Like, I have The Poet X, which is a really popular book now and I think it's cool that I have the arc so I definitely need to read that. I have a few more arcs that I got from the most recent Y'all Fest and some just random books that I have 
Like I have Autumn Falls by Bella Thorne. I have a signed copy of that. So I have Bella Thorne signature. I'm going to sell it. And then I have Marcus Zusak books. Still haven't read The Book Thief. I'm terrible. Finding Audrey, a book about anxiety if you need help. It got you. That's it. So here is my lavender book cart. My boyfriend actually got me this for Valentine's Day because I've been talking about it and it was actually a big surprise. He also got me these roses that are up here. And currently on the top shelf of the book cart, I have some of the books I'm currently reading. So Little Women, I'm listening to the audiobook and I've gotten a good chunk through. I have read some of this book called Save the Cat Writes a Novel by Jessica Brody. I'm actually not currently reading A Fire and Stars but I haven't found a place for it yet, so I have it. And this is my most recent book that I finished, Tweet Cute by Emma Lord. A lovely subscriber got me this book, so thank you so much to Abby M. We love you. And I'm about to start my reread of The Hunger Games. For my Hunger Games read along, no shock. And the second Harry Potter book is right here because my boyfriend is currently reading it and he came over. The second section for my reading cart, it has my reading journal. Go watch my reading bullet journal video if you wanna know what's inside. I also have this cup that says Proud Army Girlfriend and also has this army picture on it with a bunch of color pencils and metallic pens. And I use that for my reading journal. Then I have a L because my last name starts with an L. The third little section of my reading cart has my Kindle and then a few manuscripts from things that I have written. So I've just been storing them there. And that is it. So that is it to my bookshelf tour. I finally did it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're not happy with it, you can get over it because I'm probably never going to do another one for like five more years. So this is what you're getting. And I want to say a special thanks to my boyfriend, Camille, for his amazing work on videography. <laughs> <too short. laughs> he helped a lot with all the camera angles and stuff and with this video probably wouldn't have happened if you didn't help me out because literally it takes so much effort mm -hmm. i probably adjusted the tripod 30 times more than that it was ah oh, so much but thank you guys so much for watching this video like it comment down below have a good day please subscribe make sure to follow all the social medias which are linked down below and go click the bell button which is right by the subscribe button which you should have already clicked and goodbye